a completely beautiful day for uh, a blast off. That's right, I'm going to the Kennedy Space Center and uh, hopefully I'll be getting lots of great footage from it. Uh, to my left as I turn onto this uh, US number one is the Atlantic Ocean and out there there's a gantry and a bunch of rocket stuff. <coughs> And uh, my tour goes in, in about an hour. I have a, a two-hour tour that I get to see uh, stuff from the Kennedy Space Center and uh, rockets and all the historical stuff about uh, Mercury flights and uh, Apollo flights and all that other great stuff. Look at this. Not a cloud in the sky. I can't get over this. After all the rain we had up in the Pacific Northwest. This is such a treat. I don't care if it's a little cool out. That's all right with me. Yeah, Cindy's not into the space stuff, so uh, she decided to spend the day at, uh, at home and uh, do some stuff with um, Facebook and maybe watch TV and read a book. Or, I don't know. I would have liked to have her along, but she would have been bored by rockets and astronauts and all that exciting stuff. So this is it, Kennedy Space Center. You got the flag. Flags prominently waving in the distance. Rockets over there. We got astronauts hanging from the roof. I already bought my tickets yesterday. When I came by the sky, where this place was. Hope the wind isn't too bad. It's kind of windy out here. special tour here called uh, Discover Kennedy Space Center up close. Um, it's kind of loud here with all the buses running and uh, the diesel fumes are just overwhelming. They wouldn't allow that in a space capsule, that's for sure. But I'm just being silly. We're waiting and uh, we should be departing in about 10 minutes. So I'll just look out at the beautiful sky and This 
is not feng shui. Fat quick. Fat quick. Fat quick. Fat quick. Fat quick. Fat quick.